Have you guys seen Ben TK or J.R. Ali or one of the big videographers do this? If that's something you want to learn, stay tuned because in this video we're going to be going over how to do the opening door transition. We're going to be doing this tutorial completely inside of Adobe After Effects. And by the way, if this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing. It'd be greatly appreciated and help out my movement. But now that I've said that, let's hop on the computer and start this tutorial. So once you've taken your door clip into your timeline, you want to scrub through it and find the portion that you think is going to work best for this effect. Trim off the edges and just leave the portion that you're planning to use. So the first thing you have to do is begin to mask out your door frame. To do this, click the pen tool, zoom in, and start cutting out the frame of your door. Once you made your first mask, you have to change the mask mode to none so that you can still see the entire image. And while you're at it, toggle your mask path keyframe so that you can mask out the entire duration of the clip. And that is the next step of it, where you have to go through the entire length of the clip and make sure that your mask is over the door the entire time. I'm going to speed up this process because we're just repeating that masking step over and over again. And now that we've made all our keyframes and masked out the entire door, you want to duplicate the layer. Now you have to change the mask mode on the top layer to add and the mask mode on the bottom layer to subtract. This will make it so as that door opens, the space behind it is empty where you can place the next clip behind. Apply a small amount of feather to both of the layers and make sure that you're doing the exact same amount for both ones. Alright, so we're almost ready to open up this door. You do that by clicking the little cube icon in between the layer title and the timeline window. So now that you have a 3D layer, you want to adjust your anchor point so that it's sitting on the hinges. I notice it works the best when you place the anchor point right in the middle of the three hinges in the most centered spot of your door. This is going to make it so that when we open the door, it's opening around one specific point exactly how a real door would open up. But now the door is really not in place, so we have to use position adjustment to replace the door in its original position. And now we're officially ready to open this door. Drop down your transform section so we could adjust the 3D parameters of this layer. And for open door style transitions, you want to toggle the Y axis keyframe. Everything we're going to be doing happens with just that Y axis. Because if we think about it, we have the X and Y axis and we want to be turning this door around its Y axis. Start with a zero value on your first keyframe and then scrub forward for the duration that you want this door to open to place the second keyframe. Now it's time to increase or decrease the value depending on what way you want the door to open. And you want to change it till it gets to the point that the doors basically disappeared, which is essentially it being fully opened. And as you play back through it, you realize you just made a door open that was completely closed in the footage you shot. One of the final steps that I always like to do is to add easy ease to the Y axis keyframes. This is just going to smooth it out a little bit and make it look ever so slightly more realistic. And then pre-compose the layer so that any adjustments you do apply to both the door frame and the door itself. If you want to take this clip and make it into a zoom transition, there's only a few things left to do to make it happen. All you need to do is either make position and scaling keyframe adjustments to the layer, or put in a 3D camera and make your zoom that way. With both of those techniques, you definitely want to add easy ease to those keyframes just to make it look a little more smooth and realistic. And then to finish the effect, you just want to add motion blur to the entire clip just to make everything a nice smooth transition. So what if you weren't able to get a clip of you walking up to the door with with a gimbal? What if you only have your camera in your two hands? There's still a way to do this transition. So when doing it with a still image, as long as you shoot in 4K, you'll be able to retain your detail as you zoom in and it'll still be a perfectly beautiful transition. To do this, you're essentially following all the same steps, taking one or two out and adding a couple other ones. So when you do it with a still frame, your first step is to just mask out the door. And then once you've masked out the door, apply a slight amount of feather and then duplicate the layer and then change the bottom layer mode to subtract. Since this clip doesn't move, we don't need to do any more masking or keyframes or anything to get the door to be cut out for the entire duration of the clip. So now you're going to want to follow the same steps. Turn the top layer to 3D, reposition the anchor point to the hinges, and then adjust the Y axis so that the door opens up. One thing I always like to do 
when using a still frame is to add a small scaling adjustment throughout the entire duration of the clip to mimic some form of movement. If you also want to add camera shake or something along those lines, since you've already pre-composed the layers and done all of your effects, it's going to affect everything as one. And you shouldn't run into any issues with the door being misplaced or anything like that. And then just like in the last one, if you want to make this into a zoom transition, you have to pre-compose the layer once more and then redo the scaling and position adjustments at the specific point that you want it to zoom into the next clip. So you may be thinking, what if I got a clip that has three doors in it? Honestly speaking, there's only two things that you have to do differently from the rest of the techniques that I taught you today. So with two door zoom transitions, you need three layers. The top layer for the right door, the middle layer for the left door, and the bottom layer for both of those masks to be subtracted. I found the best way to do it to start with just one layer, do two masks on one layer, and then work your way to the rest. So make sure your masks are set to none, and do the necessary masking to cut out the doors for the entire duration of the clip. Then make two duplications of this layer, and on the top one, delete one of the two masks that are there and change the other one to add. And then on the layer below it, do the opposite while still keeping the layer on add. So if we cut out one in the top one, we're gonna wanna cut out two in the middle one. And on the bottom layer, you'll have both of those masks there and all you need to do is change them to subtract mode. And that's the only thing that's really different. Now you're just gonna do the exact same steps that you did in the other two techniques to make this door transition happen. And that wraps it up for today's video. If you guys have any questions or want anything further explained, let me know in the comments below. I'll be glad to go in further detail. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and drop a comment explaining what your favorite part of the video was. If there's any photo or video editing tutorials that you guys want to see me do next, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get to it when I can. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, have that little notification bell turned on so you know when I post. Definitely give this technique a try. It's a really fun transition to do. It makes your filmmaking a lot more fun when you could just be walking the streets and say, oh, Oh, that's a closed door. Wait, I could actually use that as a transition. It, it opens up your creativity and the possibilities that you could do while editing. But with that being said, I'm Mike Durante. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.